Hey guys, Mr. T here. This is another video. This one is on word algebraic expressions. So algebra is most useful when you use it to solve actual real world problems. The first step to actually be able to do this is to be able to express the real world situations mathematically or algebraically. And you would set that up using product notation and simplification and some logic. So firstly, um, first example here, we've got 27 people in a tram carriage. P number of people get off at the last stop. Um, what would an expression be for the number of people who are now on the tram carriage? Well, number on carriage now is going to be um, original number. The original number of people minus how many got off. We know this information. 27 is the original number. P people got off. And we're trying to find an expression for the number of people who are now on the train carriage. That's what we're trying to find here. So the original number is 27 minus how many got off. P. So the expression is um, expression for number of people now on the carriage is 27 minus p. So if we had a more complicated problem or if we had more information, we able to do more maths on that, but the starting point is to be able to express how many people are on the carriage right now. Is 27 less how many people got off the last stop? All right, another example here a hotel has 10 floors with five apartments on each floor. If each apartment contains n number of chairs, write an expression for the total number of chairs in the hotel. So, number of chairs in the hotel is going to be number of floors it has times by number of apartments on floors times by number of chairs per apartment. We know this information. Hotel has 10 floors. Boom. It has five apartments on each floor. Number of apartments on floors. If each apartment contains n chairs. So that is the number of chairs. And we're being asked to write an expression for the total number of chairs in the hotel. That's what I've made this equal to. So number of floors is 10 times by the number of apartments. 5 times by the number of chairs, which is n. We don't know that. We're representing it as a variable. What do we do when we're timesing... Um, two knowns together. We don't just remove the time sign and make it 105. That was a no-no. 10 times by 5 is 50 times by the number of chairs in the apartments. And then what do we do between a number and a variable? When there's a time sign, you remove it. So an expression for the number of chairs in the hotel is that. Chairs in hotel equals 50 all right, so hopefully that gives you a taste of using algebra to make expressions, using it to solve word problems or express them to start off with. You'll do more of it when you're doing equations. Um, then I'll see you in the next video.